Hello everybody and welcome back to Kitty Talks Dog for Transgreen TV. Today, because of the COVID-19 and the sad situation all over the world, we are not able to do any dogs because we don't want to bother anybody to get dogs here. So this is going to be storytelling. The story that I'm going to tell is going to be my story. So today you're going to know all about me. So who is Kitty? I live in Belgium with my husband, our two children and Luna, our Jack Russell Terrier. I was born in Belgium, but at a young age my parents immigrated to Australia. We had horses there and I had a very nice youth there. Anyway, my mum missed her family and we returned to Belgium when I was 14. I didn't really want to go to school anymore because I was taught how to do English and that's the time where I like run away to the dog shelter and that's where I had my first contact with dog grooming. So I was helping to wash the dogs from the shelter over there. I felt that grooming was totally something I wanted to do. Since my parents had a pet shop, and we, every year we went to the Euro Dog Show, which, which is the dog show in our town, with our uh, shop. It was easy for me to go there and I looked forward to it very much. And there I met Poodle Breeder. And this was Mr. Van der Navont, and I was watching him how he was scissoring poodles as a 14 year old. I said, you know, can you teach me? And he said, no, no, I can only teach people who are 16 years of old, or, you know, private lesson. That's where I immediately said I was 16 and he gave me my first 10 lessons, private lessons. And it was fantastic because my parents had a pet shop and I could be working at my parents' pet shop as an apprentice and learn how to groom dogs at the same time. So that's exactly what we did. When you were 14 years of old in Belgium, you could skip school and do an apprenticeship and like learn a job four days uh, working and one day school. So that was fantastic for me to learn how to groom dogs and practice all day on customers' dogs. In that time, I used my time to learn, to learn how to groom dogs perfectly. It was a bit difficult for me because in my mind, every dog had to be perfect. And I was seeing those show dogs and at home, I could, you know, work hours. Um, hours to make sure the dogs were perfect so it's not so easy to live with anyway there came a lot of dog shows and the breeder who taught me my first lessons sold us a poodle which was gypsy uh, an apricot uh, medium-sized poodle and there I was doing dog shows with the poodle and I had the time of my life, it was fantastic. Gypsy never lost, he started winning as a puppy. Gypsy became three times world champion. He was Belgium champion, champion of France, Italy, Germany, European. Anyway, Gypsy taught me a lot. Gypsy was the beginning of my career because during the time I was trying to win dog shows with Gypsy, I also heard somewhere there was a grooming competition in Belgium, the first Belgian grooming competition. And after winning with five finalists, they had a prize to give. And the prize was a journey to America to go and compete at the world grooming competition. Of course, we were there on stage with five finalists and the judges couldn't really decide who to give the prize to, say they made a lottery. I didn't win the lottery. Anyway, I was like 16 years old and I didn't win, but I came home and my parents were very excited and I said, I want to go to America. I want to go to this world grooming competition. My parents said, no, 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 you cannot go to the 
American grooming competition that's costing so much money and you know that's that's we we don't have that money to spend on journeys to go to America and I said well you know that's not possible I really wanted to go so my parents said you know what if you can get the money by working um, you're very welcome to save and to go so after that I concentrated on going to work in a video shop where they rented videos out and a Saturday evening I worked in a Belgium French fry company selling French fries and on the Sunday evening as well so in not much time I got the money together to go to Intergroom so I went to Intergroom I was 16 years old all alone and there's more stories to tell there, but I'll, I'll, I won't tell you everything. Anyway, it was the beginning of my career as a business person then, because it was so wonderful to see all these people, the same as me, very um, passionate about dog grooming. And I didn't win, but I, I, I cried. I, I was third and I phoned my parents and I said, oh, you know, I was, I, I, I didn't win, I, I expected to win, but I, I only got third, but next year I'm coming back for first. And my parents went, no, 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 <laughs> you know. But anyway, yes, I did. I came home. Every day was a competition to me. All dogs, every dog was a competition. I wanted to do them perfect. And if I could do them in two hours that time, Next time I had to do them in less than two hours and next time again and again. Anyway, after a year got by, I returned to America and I got first prize with the Poodle class. So that was a very big achievement. And in the meantime, my grooming shop was uh, growing. I did other breeds. It was very funny because, for example, the, a customer from the pet shop heard that I was grooming dogs now and they came in, for example, with a, an English cocker. I looked at the dog and I, I've never done an English cocker at that time before and this lady, this nice lady, had this beautiful dog and she asked me if I could do that and I said, well, uh, yes, I, I, I'd, I'd love to, but you have such a fantastic dog, I would like to take your dog to this fantastic breeder of uh, English cockers and let the breeder, in, when I'm there, do the dog while I can see it and then next time I will do your dog. But, and that's how actually I learned how to groom dogs. So then I had to find a breeder, which I probably saw at a dog show somewhere. And I asked this breeder, can I please come with this dog? I want to learn. There was no schools at that time. So it was like, you know, a fantastic way to learn because the breeders, oh my God, they, they know exactly what to do. They, on average, only have one kind of breed and they know how to do it. And the customer was very happy that I took that dog to the breeder. The only person that had to do that was my father. So my father took me with the car, sometimes hours driving to groom this dog. And, and there was more breeds. There was like uh, Cockers and Bouviers and all kinds of breeds that my father had to take me all around Belgium to get these, you know, breeds taught. I'm so grateful that my way of learning was that way. And, the breeders taught me so very much. In no time at all, I had a lot of customers and every customer brought in new customers. I needed help and my first employee, Pache van Bezin, came about and together we did a lot of dogs. The only thing was, like we did the dogs perfectly, we did a lot of dogs, we also did dogs for the shows at that time, but we didn't make any money because we were too cheap. The first 10 years of my career as a dog groomer, there was not much money. It was only after about 10 years, after a lot of self-study, that I became a businesswoman. That was the second time I could say, you know, that was the start of my career. In the meantime, in 1989, I decided to go and make grooming clothes. That was Tikima. 
Antikima still is a very uh, well-known brand. Antikima is distributed all over the world now. Anyway, the image of my grooming shop had to change totally and I rebuilt the whole grooming shop uh, at a later stage and it was a very, very, very nice success story. And after 10 years making no money, I, one day I decided to, you know, change the grooming shop, make it very fancy and then rise the prices. And it worked. At a certain time, we did about 50 dogs a day with about seven girls. In 1995, I met Darren, my husband. I was still competing all around doing dog shows and doing grooming competitions. And in uh, 1997, I competed for the title World Champion Poodle Groomer and I won it. It was such a big achievement because I, for years I wanted that title. And uh, after that, it was very difficult because, and now, you know, where's my aim now? And um, lucky because I was after that invited to go judging at grooming competitions and I did a lot of seminars all over the world and still I love to promote our industry. In 1999, unfortunately, I had an accident with my right hand and the doctors said I would never groom again. So I had to sell my grooming shop. For two years I didn't groom and gradually after that I, I started to using my hand again. Anyway, I didn't stand still. In the year 2000, Darren and I started Transgroom. All my attention went there and I love working at Transgroom because I'm designing all the grooming equipment for our brands and uh, I wanted to have better brushes and better combs and very good quality equipment. In the meantime, we have 2,500 products and 13 brands. I never stop grooming because that's my life and my passion. And when I groom, I can groom with our own equipment. So, you know, that's very nice. In the meantime, Transgroom has grown a bit. And we have uh, 20 people working for us. We have a very good team. The environment is like a familiar environment. Some people bring their dogs to work and I love that. It's fantastic. You've seen Jack around. We do 20, uh, on average 20 shows a year, like trade shows, dog shows, um, grooming competitions. And it's fantastic to help people. I'm very proud to say that our brands are doing very well, even in the Russian and Chinese market, also in the American market. And uh, we have distributors all over the world. We started Transgroom TV last year in January because we wanted to share our knowledge with all of you. Every first Friday of the month, there is a Kitty Talk Dogs video. Thank you for watching this unusual episode of Kitty Talks Dogs and see you next time.